So this video I've been putting off now for probably about three or four months. Um, right now I'm sitting about 18,700 miles and uh, we're going to go ahead and call this the 19,000 mile review of uh, the 2023 Canyon Denali. And uh, there's a lot to like about this truck. Uh, first of all, um, I thought the price was extremely reasonable. Uh, for uh, 53000 you get it absolutely loaded to the gills. Every option you could possibly uh, possibly think of. Uh, sunroof, um, leather, heated, ventilated seats. Um, <clears throat> there are a few things that, uh, a few annoyances that I wanted to mention along uh, with the positives. Um, so <clears throat> I guess one of the biggest ones is First and foremost, there is no power sliding rear window. So, this rear window you see here, I mean, it is a Denali we're talking about. Um, doesn't seem like it'd be difficult to <clears throat> put a button on the dash that uh, would control that window and get more use out of it. Um, secondly, is on this back door, you notice there is no wood trim. Uh, so very minimal amount of money that they saved and if you compare it to the front you see here that the uh, you know cost cutting um, so that's just uh, no big deal I'm not back there doesn't bother me too much uh, one of the things that does bother me however is you'll notice here you have keyless entry on the front door but the button was too expensive to put on the rear door. So, um, no keyless entry, no power sliding, rear window. <clears throat> um, let's see what else we got here. Um, bed lighting. There's absolutely no bed lighting. Again, you know, this is a Denali. I would have gladly paid a little bit extra to have some kind of LED lighting back there. I do plan on putting that in myself, uh, but have not gotten there yet. Um, and pretty much the only complaint, other than those, and I'll give you a full walk around of the vehicle here. This is a aftermarket camera I installed. The only other complaint, love the truck. It's a great truck. It's an awesome truck. Solid as can be. The only other complaint I have is on this lower rocker panel. I don't know what kind of paint they used, but it's different than the paint on the rest of the vehicle. As you can see, uh, either from getting in or out of the truck, um, I didn't just scratch it, but I took off the whole strip of paint, I'm assuming with my work boot. Um, again, it's a 2023. It does have the uh, high output uh, Turbo Max four cylinder engine. And this engine is, uh, is, is this engine is extremely impressive. Um, yeah, it's a lot of diehard V8 guys. It doesn't sound as good as a, a V8 a wide open throttle. Um, you know, it doesn't have that uh, uh, that growl that you may may be used to. Uh, but I'll tell you what, um, it has more torque than most of the V8s on the market um, at a lower RPM. Uh, when I say most of the V8s, I'm referring to the 5.7 Hemi. I'm referring to the 5.3. Uh, GM motor um, more more torque than the 2.7 EcoBoost and um, it all comes on at 1500 rpm uh, so as to uh, as far as towing is concerned the only vehicle I've had that tows better is a 3 liter Duramax um, and that engine is just a sweetheart um, didn't want to have to deal with emissions and I wanted uh, wanted something a little more comfy. I wanted leather. 
I wanted something a little bit smaller uh, because a lot of times I'm driving solo and um, as far as modifications uh, first thing I put on which is uh, really nice to have are these shocks I think there are 50 bucks for two of them you can get a name brand but I'm pretty sure these work just as well um, in addition um, I just recently installed some electric running boards and I was gonna bring a tape measure with so I can measure there's uh, somebody on the forum that was interested in the height uh, they sit at but here we'll get a look at the running boards uh, they definitely come down lower <clears throat> than uh, than stock than the stock running boards and uh, they work they work pretty nice uh, it has a nice look to them tucked away and uh, it'll give me more clearance um, if I need it for deep snow rocks or anything of that nature um, stock tires everything else is stock and here again the running boards uh, automatically come out and uh, they are lit uh, they're not cheap by any means but they're definitely nice to have and um, I believe them to be better made than than the chrome plated that comes on the stock unit uh, as far as the interior um, this vehicle in my opinion has the best infotainment on any vehicle in the market and the uh, the simple f reason is that um, it has Google on board you know so it can you know you get to adjust your temperature uh, you can navigate um, it's lightning quick and I haven't had any issues with it uh, there are people that um, have said that it tends to be buggy or um, ha have issues I haven't experienced any of that um, I talked to the unit and uh, and it works great um, very busy so I didn't have time to clean a little dirty um, the 8-speed transmission, um, it's great. Uh, no issues. There's no no second-guessing. Uh, there's no uh, hard shifts. They're smooth. It's definitely improved over the last generation uh, that uh, they seem to have torque converter issues. Um, I do have a couple mods. I am going to do is I have some tie rod sleeves I'm going to put in I don't know if you could see that <clears throat> to uh, strengthen up the tie rods um, it's an inexpensive mod to add, add a lot of strength and I also uh, am waiting for uh, Bilstein to get their act in gear and uh, start releasing some shocks for this thing um, a very particular one I'm looking for um, I am after the 6112 kit for the front. Um, I think I'm going to lift it one inch in the front and one inch in the rear, and I'll be happy with that. Uh, but the 6112 kit, I will post a video when I have those babies installed, but uh, they're, uh, I believe it's a 2.4 inch shock body. So, um, you know, standard uh, shocks. And uh, the 5100s, I believe, are 1.8. Uh, so you get a lot more meat in the shock. And just very impressive for the, for the price, how they ride. So, Bilstein, if you're listening to this, you got some people out here waiting to buy your product. Uh, don't want Rough Country. Uh, don't want Fox. Don't want Icon. Overpriced. Not as well made. Uh, so need the uh, 6112 kit for the front of this thing um, and as far as the rears um, I am happy with the 5100s in the back although this time around I think I'll get the 5160s uh, with the extra reservoir uh, <clears throat> cost a few extra bucks but I'm interested to uh, to see uh, how different that will make the ride compared to the 5100 I'm guessing I won't notice much of a difference 
Um, so, close this hood. Uh, as far as the engine, very happy with this engine. Amazingly torquey. Uh, you could lug this thing around almost like it's a diesel um, and climb hills while doing it on a highway. Um, it doesn't, you don't, you don't need RPM. It's much more relaxing to drive uh, than the 5.3 liter I had. Um, just power is a lot easier to come by. So if it is reliable, as everyone says it is, and uh, it lasts long, it's really going to be a gem. And uh, in my opinion, it has the ability to be one of the best uh, four-cylinder engines ever made. Um, again, that's based on uh, longevity. Um, I'm pretty sure they've been around since 2019 in the, uh, in the uh, Silverado. Uh, so they do have a history uh, of reliability, um, although uh, somewhat short-lived. I guess, what are we looking at, five years? And uh, so highly recommended to pop those shocks in for the hood. You don't have to worry about the prop rod. And again, GM cheaping out. There's no light underneath there, uh, which would also be nice to have. And here is a side view uh, with the power steps. Uh, and those are Amp Research power steps, by the way. Um, I recommend trying a different brand. Uh, these power steps required, I believe it was 14 holes uh, being drilled into the truck through the steel. So um, it was supposed to be plug and play. And it took over 10 hours to install these things. Granted, I was sick. Uh, I was not feeling well. I had flu symptoms, body aches. Um, but I wanted to make sure everything was done properly and done the right way. And in order to, uh, to do it the right way, that's how long it took. Uh, I did have to take a day off in between to uh, just to rest and try to get better and as you can see the boards come out and they're definitely wider than the stock boards so there's more room to to step and they are definitely solid and i don't know if you heard the steps close but i'm going to start it up and i'll turn this off and that is my Uniden radar GPS detector. Uh, front and back with the arrows. An unbelievable radar detector. They're not cheap, um, but they work sweet. And if you do a lot of traveling, they'll pay for themselves in no time. Uh, so, uh, moving on to the Wolfbox G900. Um, so, that camera in the back basically provides this rear view as you see there um, so not only do you have the uh, the benefit of a digital screen uh, front there's the front uh, you can do both at once the back uh, the rear is on the left the front's on the right and there is um, the front on the left and the rear on the right there <clears throat> not only uh, do you get those views, uh, you can fine tune them and adjust the uh, the end of the camera here. You can actually tilt that and arrange that in a way that uh, gives you the best view. Uh, but this thing here is, uh, it's recording 24-7. And for my commute, I wanted to get something that will offer uh, some sort of protection um, when I'm driving on the highway. Um, if someone were to uh, um, to cause an accident, um, you know, there's uh, a little bit of, uh, it's nice having that safety blanket where you could show this information to, uh, to the insurance company if needed. Um, so as far as the interior, I'm not going to get too much in depth because I'm sure if you're looking at one of these trucks, you've seen the interior inside out, backwards, forwards. Um, just non-stop never-ending um, You know, it is uh, it's very comfortable uh, heated cooled 
and exactly what I wanted. Uh, there are no rattles in this truck. There are no vibrations. Um, it is, uh, it's just every, every bit as solid as, as it possibly could be. Um, I've referred, uh, I've heard another YouTube user refer to it as uh, Mercedes-Benz vault-like. And I, I can't say I disagree. Um, so it does have a two-speed transfer case. Uh, you have auto, two high, four high, four low. And uh, here I am getting into the... Uh, uh, the interior, but uh, basically standard. Uh, this is the Turbo Max version, which is uh, uh, 310 horsepower and 430 foot pound of torque. So uh, for towing, um, it's just amazing how good this thing is at at low RPM. It doesn't have to work, um, you know, 14, 1500 RPM, and you can you're you're climbing hills, and uh, the engine's not even working. Uh, one thing I did want to touch base on is the infotainment system. Um, again, in my opinion, this is the best infotainment system on any vehicle made. And the simple reason is, is that everything just works. Uh, it's quick, it's smooth, uh, but most importantly, you have Google on board. You can, um, you can ask Google to uh, change your climate settings. Uh, you can ask Google what the weather's like. Um, you can ask Google the results of sport games as you're driving. And um, even though it is a limited version of Google, um, it still provides a lot of information. Uh, for example, what was the score to the Blackhawks game last night? The Blackhawks will play the Golden Knights today at 9 p.m. in the Las Vegas Valley. Okay, so I didn't necessarily uh, answer my uh, my question. Let me try a different way. Did the Blackhawks win yesterday? Of course they no, didn't. No, the Blackhawks lost 4-2 to two last Sunday against the Hurricanes. Navigate to Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis. All right. And as you can see, uh, lightning quick. You can't ask for anything more than that. And uh, basically a suburb of Chicago here. So it's, uh, it's looking like 7 hours and 32 minutes from my current location. And um, you can... Uh, you can kind of switch this. Usually, what I'll do is I'll put the I'll put the radio on here, uh, Spotify or satellite radio, and I'll keep my nav navigation on uh, on the driver uh, information cluster, uh, which is extremely clear and crisp. Uh, as far as Google, let's see what else can you do. Um, Turn on air conditioning at 67 degrees. Sure, changing the AC to 67 degrees. That feels good. Finally seems like spring is here, uh, 81 degrees. Let me turn that down. Uh, how about math? Let's see, if, uh, let's see if Google can do some math for us as we're driving. What is 1026 times 53? 1026 times 53 is 54,378. Okay, so it does do math. Uh, let's find out about local news. What is my local news? I found some news about your area. And that's a little different, so you know you have some uh, <clears throat> some options there you could choose from. Um, let's uh, let's test weather out. Uh, what does the forecast look like today in Beecher? There will be showers with a forecasted high of seventy nine and a low of sixty three. What 
When is the first day of summer? In the Northern Hemisphere, summer will start on Thursday, June 20th, and will end on Sunday, September 22nd, Central Time. Find a Bass Pro Shop on my commute. So there it's taken into consideration my uh, my travels to Tennessee and it is telling me that um, I can add a stop. Uh, usually it tells me how much time it's going to set, set me back. Um, so basically my main reason for, uh, for showing this is you see how thorough and how well designed the system is. Um, you can basically ask to play any song. Uh, we'll give that a try. Play Pink Floyd The Wall. Okay, playing the album The Wall on YouTube Music. So you can't ask for anything better. Um, I don't care what you have, who you are, you know, maybe a different screen configuration, maybe bigger screen, maybe a smaller screen, depending on what your personal preference is. But as far as overall functionality, um, it's the best that's on the market. You know, anything, anything Google. Um, the other thing that is a minor annoyance is I noticed the last few years that uh, General Motors is making their Bose speaker system cheaper. Uh, this system, on a scale of 1 to 10, I rated about a 6.5. Uh, this system does not have a subwoofer. Uh, so you're paying extra for uh, for Bose, and um, they, uh, they can't even get you a subwoofer, uh, which is disappointing. Um, so that is on my to-do list as well is to uh, pop in a little all-in-one um, 10 inch with the amp attached uh, hopefully hide it behind the seat I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to do that yet uh, worst case it would be underneath the seat but I'm trying to get it back there and um, so as far as uh, as far as this review is concerned um, hopefully it's uh, helped some of you guys um, 18,779 miles and uh, very happy with the truck. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be a couple guys. Uh, well, you know, you could have given me all that information in five minutes. It didn't have to take 25. Well, um, you could uh, you could stop the video at five minutes. How's that? Um, 25 minutes it is. And uh, I know there are a lot of people that will appreciate this review. Um uh, I'm not a not a Toyota guy uh, as far as trucks are concerned, and definitely not a Ford Ranger guy. Um, completely happy with uh, uh, with uh, GM's entry, and uh, this engine uh, is a complete sweetheart, and um, it will uh, it'll mop the floor with the 5.3 liter any which way you look at it, whether it's uh, uh, stump pulling torque. Uh, whether it's acceleration, um, this uh, engine is uh, uh, is is better in my opinion. Um, the 5.3 also have a lot of problems with its lifters. Um, as far as I know, with this vehicle, there's not many problems that have been reported. They've uh, been very reliable. Um, as far as fuel mileage, uh, you kind of have to go. Oh, and then there is your. Uh, there's your headlight switch, which is never found an issue to change it. Sometimes I, I'll put it on off if I'm parked in a lot with the engine running. But um, a lot of people have issue with no uh, physical switch. Oh, and if you look down there, there is a bypass switch uh, that I installed for the running board. So um, if I'm going through the car wash, I can lock them in the down position uh, so they, uh, they get nice and clean. Um, and as far as the trip is concerned, a um, lot of lot of idling mixed in here. But as you get speed, uh, see over the span of ownership of the truck, 
uh, which I've had this now for, I uh, had this truck now for uh, over a year, and it was not easy to get. Um, I had to drive to Washington, D.C. Um, to uh, to purchase it. So I did find a dealer. Uh, somebody on Facebook uh, notified me of a dealer in D.C. that had this vehicle in stock. I called them that night, um, asked if they would uh, accept uh uh, MSRP and if they hold it for me if I was there first thing in the morning and they agreed and uh, it was a flawless experience it was a long drive um, although very scenic but I drove from Chicago to Washington DC uh, to pick this up and uh, I would, uh, would would do it again in a heartbeat um, these trucks are not easy to find and um, uh, there's just not many of them out there because for whatever reason they have a hard time pushing out the parts and pieces uh, so as far as f fuel economy is concerned uh, the best is 32 mile a gallon uh, 32 miles a gallon and most people will claim that they don't trust the uh, driver informa information cluster when it comes to mileage in my experience it's always within one or two miles a gallon it's it may not be dead on but um, it's pretty damn accurate and you can see the lifetime results there. And uh, that will uh, conclude this review. <clears throat> when I do install the Bilsteins, the 6112s in the front and the 5160s in the back, and lift it up one inch in the front and one inch in the back, um, I will do another review and uh, let you uh, let everybody know how things are going then. Uh, so thanks for watching, and if you're debating on whether to buy a Colorado or a Canyon, um, I highly recommend um, going for either. Uh, the Colorado 2023-2024 is basically the same truck, and uh, you can get a lot of the same bells and whist whistles as well. Um, not quite as many as you can with the with the Denali um, and there's the I'm not sure if you can see the heads up display there um, but navigation and speed this isn't an actual road so it's not going to give me the speed here um, but it is displayed so turn turn by turn navigation is also included in that setup um, so don't hesitate uh, buy the truck it's well made um, you'll be happy with it. Thanks for watching.